Uh, hi, everybody. Hola. Um, I'm Darren Chris, and you're watching this interview in Claro Musica. Hi, Darren. Welcome to Claro Music. Hi, man. Thanks for having me. I like your studio. Oh, it's very expensive, my studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could say this is fake. It's it's all this is this is where we make the music, man. <laughs> okay. Please talk about the masquerade, please. Uh, well, Masquerade is, an, is a new EP that I put out that uh, I've been working on for the past year, um, but the songs have been sitting around for much longer than that, but I finally had the time, you know, during the pandemic, I wasn't doing much acting and we were all staying at home. So this was one of the projects that I decided to prioritize. And uh, I'm just so happy that it's, it's finally out. It's sort of a, a mixing and mashing of a lot of different genres but hopefully all centralized by me so hopefully they make sense to people i i suppose you have more songs that you compose but why fight these five songs yeah it's a good question it's very hard to decide uh because it, like you said I, there are more songs uh you know in the in the queue you know it's like if you hold the hose when the hose is on it just becomes a big you know, water balloon, and you can only let so much out at a given time. And uh, these were just five that I that I had time for. I mean, um, my collaborator collaborator on this, fellow writer and exec producer on this record, is my buddy C.J. Barrett, who's a much better producer than I am. And uh, he and I had been working together for a show that I created called Royalties, and uh, we wrote a ton of songs together. And uh, when I realized that we'd have a bit of time to work on things when we were going to stay at home I approached him and I asked him if he would want to you know make a body of music with me and uh, when he said yes and when he had time that kind of uh, pointed me in the direction of certain songs because he has a very unique fi sonic fingerprint um, so that was very helpful because then it made me decide what songs I wanted to do if he wasn't available and he and you know I would have maybe approached somebody else that would have made me choose different songs so it, it's kind of the alchemy between what songs you have around and what people are around to make them with you that get you excited about them. And uh, these five songs were really well suited for his, his skill set and my skill set. Did you compose these, these songs a long time ago? Some of them are, I mean, songs sometimes are written overnight. Sometimes songs sit around for years. I'm, I'm the kind of guy that songs do kind of sit longer than I'm proud proud of um proud uh, the, they they stick around longer than I I care to admit um there's a couple songs on there that uh that I started years ago but I never really finished you know I, I knew the the melody I had a kind of lyric um but I I talk about CJ like a midwife you know he really helped me push a lot of these babies out of the the metaphorical birth canal of, of the real world so um some of them were conceived literally in the last year some of them were conceived like more than 10 years ago but they were all recorded this past year so they were all finished this past year okay we, we know you play a lot of, of several instruments in which one do, do you like to compose um it it depends. I, I don't have a preference. I spend the most of my time on the guitar because that's my strongest instrument. Um, but when you're writing something on the guitar, uh, you know, there, there's a certain harmonic value of a guitar that makes you think about melodies in a different way than you would be on a piano because a piano has such a huge range and you have such versatility on the piano to explore different voicings. So it really depends. I don't know. I don't have any preference. I honestly just take inspiration wherever I can get it. If I'm playing on a guitar or if I don't know, you're playing a kazoo, you know, if that if that inspires you, great. Uh, I'll just take it wherever I can get it. Yes. Where do you most enjoy playing? In front of a large crowd or an intimate place? Oh, um, again, I, it's because of the pandemic artists haven't been able to play live in front of anybody uh so at this point in time I, I am happy to play for a room of five people a room of fi 500 people a room of 5,000 people any opportunity at this point is is a is a golden one <clears throat> um there's value to each one um 
I think most artists would prefer playing for a more intimate uh, space simply because you can connect with people a little more. Also, just logistically, playing in a large venue is, you know, sound is huge, it's big. So when you're with a small group of people, it's easier to connect. But, you know, if you get to play for a large amount of people, you get to feed off that many people's energy. So I, I don't really have a preference. I think just playing live in general is is always exciting. I, I, I'm giving the same answer that I gave about the piano and the guitar. It really is all the same to me. It's all about the connection that you can make with with people. Uh, well, if this interview has proven anything, it's that I, I can't choose one thing ever. Uh, you know, if you're going to ask me between piano and guitar, I'll say both. If you ask me between a <laughs> small venue or a big venue, I'm going to say both. Uh, and so for me, I, I will say both. They're, they are all one and the same to me. Um, at least I'm consistent <laughs> with my answer. Um, uh, acting is music. Music is acting. Um, it, it really is all performance and it really is all about connecting with other people in in some way shape or form um you know sometimes if uh, if i'm given the opportunity to be in a theatrical production then i will do that if i'm given the opportunity to be on a film or a television show i will do that but those options were removed from the menu this past year and a half because of the pandemic so what I was left with was time to work on music, which is why I made this EP. I finally had the time to do that. Okay. My, my favorite song of the EP is uh, For a Night Like This. I want to- Oh, wonderful. This song. And I want to know where is uh, your very special night in all your life? Oh, there's so many. I mean, you know, obviously I would put my wedding up there on the, on the, probably the top of the list. Um, I've had many wonderful nights of celebration. Uh, you know, um, I'm, I'm fortunate to say that there are too many to count, but I think, you know, the easiest one would be something like my wedding, which was like one of the funnest parties I ever threw in my entire life. Um, but, uh, you know, that song comes from the feeling that you get from any of those nights that you kind of I, I put every great celebration I think I've ever had into one song <laughs> uh, or I did the best that I could. Um, so uh, I, I'm very fortunate in that I can't decide on on just one because I love so many. But of course, yeah, the, the, my wedding would have an unfair advantage <laughs> to being to being the answer to that one. Uh, you can listen to all my music here in Claro Musica.